Hello, Christ is in my midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. York and Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Saturday, June 4th, 2022, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 7, verses 26 and 28, and chapter 8, verses 1 through 2. Brethren, it was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, blameless, unstained, separated from sinners, exalted above the heavens. He has no need, like those high priests, to offer sacrifices daily, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did this once and for all when he offered up himself. Indeed, the law appoints men in their weakness as high priests, but the word of the oath, which came later than the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. Now the point in what we are saying is this. We have such a high priest, one who is sitting at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven, a minister in the sanctuary in the true tent, which is set up not by men, but by the Lord. And today's gospel readings from the gospel of St. John, chapter 10, verses 1 through 9. The Lord said to the Jews who came to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not heed them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in in and out and find pasture. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. So today in the Orthodox Church, we remember St. Metrophanes, the first patriarch of Constantinople. A couple of interesting things about him. He lived an exemplary life, which is one of the reasons why we have the gospel readings that we have today, because both of those serve to illustrate the wonderful nature of a particular person. In the reading in Hebrews, we see that our Lord is the offerer and the offered of the sacrifice that leads to the redemption of the people, that we do not need to offer sacrifices like the high priests in the olden days, but instead offer a gift of thanksgiving to our Lord who has accomplished everything that needs to be done. And so when we think of it in those terms, we're thinking of someone who is making those offerings. And of course, patriarchs, metropolitans, bishops, even priests, they are able to make these um, prayers and these sacrifices in a way that, that bring the body and blood of Jesus Christ to his people. Our Lord, again, being the one who offers, but also the one who is offered. And so St. Metrophanes then fits into that mold because he is one of the greater leaders of the church Now, he lived at the same time as St. Constantine the Great, the one who moved the location of the center, the capital of the Roman Empire, from Rome to Constantinople. And actually, he met St. Metrophanes in Constantinople and was very impressed with his piety and his calm leadership. And so he brought him back to Rome to be with him in that time of rule in Rome. And then he, when he decided to move the location of the capital from Rome to Constantinople, he brought Metrophanes back with him. And then through all of that, the people were persuaded towards the end of St. Metrophanes' life to make him indeed the patriarch of Constantinople, as opposed to just an archbishop or bishop. And also becomes patriarch because, again, it's the political center of the empire at that time. You look at today's gospel reading and you see the story of our Lord being a shepherd. And that is such an important image for us to understand. The shepherd knows his sheep. The sheep follow him because they trust him. The sheep 
follow him because they know they are safe under his care and they trust him because they have grown with him for a very long time. So this becomes the model of the bishop in many ways. Again, why we hearken back to Metrophanes at this time, he was such a great leader in Constantinople that the people knew under his care that they would be protected and prayed for and spiritually sustained. And so that again becomes the model for us today. The role of the bishop, the role of the priest is to be the shepherd so that the flock is aware of who they are, the, care, the caretakers, the caregivers, and because of their love and their mercy, the sheep know them. The congregation feels safe and, and whole in that the priest takes care of his people, that the bishop takes care of his people. So that image is in our Lord's discussion of the shepherd and the gatefold, and, and also we see it exemplified par excellence in people like St. Metrophanes and St. John the Merciful, the Patriarch of Alexandria, and so forth. So by their guidance and their inspiration, may we all be called to live in that mercy, that gentleness of spirit, the shepherding spirit that, that all are called to be, even parents in their families or even people in the workforce. We should always embody that strength, but that gentle mercy that is part and parcel of who we are as followers of Jesus Christ. And may God bless and keep you and those that you love today and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. I pray you have a great day, and God willing, we will see you tomorrow.